Okay, so in the last two videos, video number one, we installed our Pixel, okay? We installed our Pixel, we put it all in, all across all pages, and, um, and, and now, now, now our Pixel is tracking this most important data. I didn't that, know you even, I, I thought that the recording was on. I didn't know you turned it off. No, no, that that's video number one. Video number two is we set up custom audiences around everyone who's landing on all these specific pages, okay? Now, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to simply create a custom conversion, which is the most important. And again, let me explain what a custom conversion is. This is the most important. Without a custom conversion, you're not capturing leads. Without running conversion ads the right way, you're not capturing leads. And so that's why this video can apply to a lot of different businesses because most businesses that are running Facebook ads, you're, nine out of 10 of them are doing it for one reason. That's to capture a lead. You're either capturing a lead or you're making a sell. So if you're selling a product online, then you're running Facebook ads, conversion Facebook ads to get people to buy your product. If you're not selling a physical product and you're selling coaching or consulting or any other type of service, and, and you're, you're, let's say you're giving away an ebook or you're, you're getting people to register to watch your webinar or whatever it may be, that's a lead. That's lead capture. So you're either looking to capture a lead or make a sell, bottom line. And to do that successfully on Facebook through Facebook advertising is you have to set up a conversion event. And so in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to tell Facebook what our conversion event is. We're going to set up a custom conversion. And so here's, here's what I mean by it. So as I scroll through the news feed and I'm just seeing what everyone's up to, and then all of a sudden I come across a sponsored ad. Here goes Russell Brunson. There goes the text. There goes the video. Here comes the learn more button. Here's a custom conversion. Now, in his case, what he's doing is he's actually selling a book. Is this regarding his his lead his book? Okay, so here, yeah, so this is just, this is a perfect example. Okay, so as I come to his page, I saw the ad, I clicked on learn more, I came to his landing page, okay? I come to the landing page, I click on the button, and it brings me here to this order page. When I fill out this page, name, email, phone number, full name, and I go through the full completion, and I click on send me my swipe file now. When I click on that button, it's going to take me to an order confirmation, just like in your case. So when I come to, when I come to your product, when I come to your product, or when I come to your landing page, I should say, when I come to your landing page, I have to put in my name and email to get to this page, right? This is the thank you for registering. This right here is the most important conversion. Now your purchase conversion, this is the purchase page. This is the add to cart page. These conversions are important as well, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna just simply focus and keep it super simple and focus on this one thank you page. This is the conversion. So a person has to go, they have to see the ad. They have to click on learn more. They have to go to your landing page. They have to enter their information to ever get to this page. Uh -huh. Does uh -huh. that make sense? Yeah. Yes, yes. So, the so information? yes, they get so, this page. Let me pull up your landing page just to give this a, a real clear example. So let's get rid of the, the Russell one because that's purchasing and that's fine. If I click on that red button, I go to the thank you for purchasing page. That's the custom conversion. So in your case, I come to your landing page. I have to register. I have to put my name and email in order to get to this page. This page is the custom conversion. So what most people try to do is they say, okay, I'm going to run a Facebook ad because I want to get people to my landing page. Okay, that's fine. And that's what Facebook's going to do. Facebook will run the ad to get you people here. But I don't want people just to come here. I want people to come here. I need to be very specific about that. I need to tell Facebook where here is. Your goal is to get them to click learn more and come to the landing page. But your ultimate goal, your ultimate goal is to get people here. Facebook wants to know your ultimate goal. They don't care about your goal. This is your goal to get them here. Your goal is to get them to click learn more and come here. That's your goal. They don't care about your goal. They want to know about what your ultimate goal is. Our ultimate goal, Facebook, is to get them here. And in order for people to get here, they have to smash the orange button. They have to enter their information in order to get here. So as we set this up, as we set here up, 
This is the thank you page. As we set this up as a custom conversion, we, we're going to start running Facebook ads and Facebook's going to start finding us people that are most likely to get here. And don't ask me how in the hell they do that. They, 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 they have their, they have their ways. They, it's a freaking machine. So, so, so we're not telling Facebook, we want to get people here. We're telling Facebook people we need to get people here. And so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take here. We're going to double click. We only need the link. We don't need the HTTPS. We only need the URL. We're going to copy that. This is the thank you page. We're going to come over here to Facebook. We're going to click, make sure we're in the right account. We're going to click on the dots up here. We're going to go to events manager. This is how you set up a Facebook custom conversion. And again, this is for anyone and everyone who is looking to capture leads or make sales. Um, you have to set this up. You want to set this up. Um, and it's just a custom conversion that we're, we're going to set up ourselves so we can name it ourselves and name it what we want to name it. So now here's what we're going to do. We come over here and right over here from our previous video, this is where we get our pixel, but we're not going to get our pixel here. We're going to simply hover over the blue triangle and we're going to custom conversions. And over here, what we're going to do is we're going to simply create, we're going to hit this blue button and we're going to create a custom conversion. So again, I copied the URL on the thank you page. I brought it over here. So I'm going to name the conversion. This is story telling Storytelling leads. Anyone who lands on this thank you page is a lead. So this is story time, storytelling leads. Make sure that that's my pixel. I'm going to go all URL traffic, just leave it there. And we're going to simply select our own category. I'm going to hit the drop down. I'm going to come down. See, so there's all these data points. So I can create a custom audience around add to cart, which we are going to set one up. We're going to set up a custom. In fact, yeah, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do, we'll, we'll do, I'm going to set up all three of them. We're going to set up all three of them right now. Might as well. What we're going to do right now is, but there's all these di different data points. We're going to focus on this one. This is lead. Let's just do the lead real quick. That's lead. So now I'm going to simply take what I pasted and I'm going to copy it right there. Okay. Storytelling leads. We're going to click create. And here's what's super, super important. Here's what you absolutely have to do. I just created it. Now up here, it shows inactive. What I have to do is I have to come to the page over here in real time and refresh it. So if I come to the page and refresh the page, then Facebook now rereads it. And now if I click on the Facebook pixel helper, now look what it says, leads. That's why when I opted into the Ted McGrath one, right? Yeah. I clicked on it and it said lead. Please. Well, yeah. we customized ours and we're naming ours storytelling leads because we want to be specific oh, and we want to know what the hell our stuff is. So we, we customize it. He just le left it as the default lead. But I want to I want to I want to customize this because we're going to have different projects and we want to know exactly, you know, this conversion. So storytelling leads. I refreshed it here. Now I'm going to come over here to Facebook and I'm going to refresh it here. And this inactive should go active. So let's refresh it here. Active. Oh, yeah, it is. I see Bam. the green now. That is the thank you page. Now, what we also want to do is create another custom conversion, okay? We're going to create another custom conversion around the sales page, okay? People that land here, people that land here. Now, again, we already set it up as a custom audience, but what we also want to do is we want to set it up as a custom conversion because as we go run future conversion ads, we can split test and we can, we can tell Facebook, hey, we need people to get to the thank you page, or we could tell Facebook, we're looking for people that are likely to get to the sales page. So we can be very specific. And then we're going to create another custom conversion around the purchase confirmation page. So these are data points. These are, these are ways to tell Facebook, hey, man, I'm looking to get people here. Find me people that are likely to buy. Find me people that are likely to land here. So, so ultimately, these are the three the, the thank you page, the, the, the add to cart, the, 
the sales page, which is the sales page, and then the purchase confirmation page. So we did the thank you page already. Now let's do let's do the um, sales page. This is going to be the sales page. So I copy this and I come over here and we're going to name this conversion story telling sales page. Story storytelling sales page sales page, which is actually called add to cart ATC. So now here's what I'm going to do. I click on this right here, select your own category. I hit the drop down and we'll see it right here. Add to cart. So again, it's a custom audience. We already set up a custom audience that was on, 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 on the previous video. And those videos will all be in the description. If you didn't catch any of the videos, watch the, all three of these videos. This is the third video of our series right here. Video number one was the pixel. Video number two was the custom audiences. And then now today, video number three is the custom conversions. Now we set up a custom audience around everyone who lands here on the sales page. But what we're doing now is we're creating a custom conversion around the sales page. And all that means, again, is when we go and run conversion ads, we're going to be able to tell Facebook, these are the type of people we're looking for. That's very different than the custom audience. The custom audience allows me to retarget the people who have already landed here. But I'm running a conversions ad for future people. And now I'm going to tell Facebook, I am looking for specific people. I am looking for people that are likely to land on this page. So it's a custom conversion. It's an add to cart. Storytelling sales page, ATC. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and I'm going to come down here, paste, and I'm going to create. And I can add a value, but but I don't. I, we won't add a value right now. Um, in fact, you know what? Let me add the value. Let me add the value because you already know, you already know the price of it. So let's yes. just add value, and we're gonna name this one four four ninety seven. Four four ninety seven. And this right here, we already got the description. So we're gonna hit save changes. And now you'll see the value down here, 497. Okay. So, so again, as people start to purchase, then you'll start to see these numbers in your dashboard. How many, how much money you made? Like this is where we, now we're going to be able to see all that through Kartra because everything's being processed through Kartra. But at the same time, we can see it through our Facebook ads manager based on the analytics and looking at the name at the numbers. Cause we're filling in all the blanks. So, so that right there is the add to cart. So now again, it's inactive. I got to go back to the page. I got to refresh it. And then if I hit the Facebook pixel up here at the top, we're now going to see. Green now. What's so that? Telling, no, I said it's green now. But, um, it shows what you were tell, telling me. It's green now. And it shows up here. No, it's, it's, it's gray. It's gray right now. Right no, here. Oh, I was talking about something else then. So if I refresh this page, so I got to refresh the actual sales page, and then I got to come over here to Facebook and refresh this page. So when I refresh it, then it turns green. Then it turns active. That's the add to cart page. Okay. So now the last one we're going to create is we're going to create a, a, a custom conversion around the purchase confirmation. And again, yeah something quick yeah. right here if you don't mind you see how i cross um that with black i couldn't figure out how to use a red to cross that 997 just just go into the colors and change it to red okay that's it it's just changing the color inside the the highlight it and then you'll have the ability to change the color okay, super simple highlight. yeah okay yeah so so now and, 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 and the way to look at a custom conversion, the way to look at a custom conversion, a custom conversion is your end goal, the end destination. So as I step into Christy's world, I step into her world from the landing page. But where is she ultimately trying to take me? Where's that page? That page is either the thank you for registering. Mm. That page is either the sales mm. page or that page is also the purchase confirmation, the end goal, the destination. That's a custom conversion. Where are you trying to take me? Let's, let's, let's cut to the chase and show me that page right now. That's a custom mm -hmm. conversion. Facebook just wants to know, hey, man, cut to the chase. 
what's the end goal? What page are you ultimately trying to get them to land on? I'm trying to get someone to land on this because if they land on this, that means they bought. Mm. Now, again, you have to edit this because this is not, you know, this is, this is what we cloned from the previous page, but, but I'm just giving you the example. So this is the end goal. Anyone who lands on this page purchased, this is the purchase confirmation. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to create, again, we created a custom audience that was on yesterday's video. We created a custom audience. Everyone who lands here is a core student. They purchased that's a custom audience. But what we're doing now is we're creating a custom conversion. So when we go and run the ad, we're going to be very specific and say, hey, Facebook, go and find me people, go and find me new people, go and find me people who are not in my custom audience yet, go and find me people who are likely to land on this page, go find me the buyers. We're going to tell that to Facebook on day one, because we told them about the link and we set up a custom conversion. So again, we copy everything other than the HTTPS. We come over here, we click on create conversion. We're going to name this one storytelling, storytelling course students purchased. And again, you can always rename that. So there's that, but you can leave it like this as well. So that's, that's perfectly fine. And then we come down here, select your own category, hit the drop down. And now we're going to name this one. This is purchase. This is the conversion event. This is what we're trying to tell Facebook from day one. When we go and run that ad, we are looking for people like this. We're looking for people to get to this page. We paste in the link. We hit create. We click on done. It's inactive. We go back to the page. We refresh it. Anyone who lands on this page is in a custom audience, but also everyone who lands on this page is a custom conversion. And there it is there. We come back over here. We refresh this page. And now this inactive should go active. So again, this is Facebook custom conversions. This is for anyone trying to capture leads or make sales online through Facebook advertising. You want to set up these custom conversions um, um, first. So, so look, now that we have these up, and I'll say this part in closing. Now that we have these three active, look, here's what we can do now. As I come over here, back to my, app, back to my dashboard, here's what's amazing. Here's what we're going to be able to customize now. Now that we have those customized, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make sure we're in the right ads manager right here. Christie's ad manager. We're going to click on columns performance. And right here, you see the column campaign name, delivery, bid strategy, budget, results, reach. If you take this all the way, impressions, cost per result, there's a lot of data points up here that we don't need. If you click on ad sets, you got ad set name, delivery, bid strategy, budget, um, results, reach, impressions, cost per result, all this stuff, a lot of this stuff, links, link clicks, three second video plays, like a lot of that we don't need. Same thing with ads. You're going to have that column all across the board. What we want to do is we want to customize it. We want to customize it. So when we come in here and, and look at the dashboard, we can only look at the most relevant data and, 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 and that's it. I don't need to look at all this other crap. Like I just need to know my bottom line numbers and I'm going to show you what those are. So if I come over here, I click on columns. I'm going to come down to customize columns. And now what I'm going to do, because I set up my custom conversions, it was only because of that. Because I set up my custom conversion, in fact, I can still change this as, as, and see what I want to see. But, but I really am doing this because of my custom conversions. So now that I have my custom conversions, here's what I'm going to do. All this stuff over here to the right, I'm going to delete a lot of them. I'm going to X out a lot of them. So Bid strategy, last significant edit, don't need. Results, I'm going to have my own custom conversion to read the results, so I don't need that. Reach, I don't need that. Impressions, cost per result, uh, quality ranking, I I'll, we'll leave that. Engagement, we'll get rid of that. Conversion rate ranking, um, amount spent, ends, schedule, link clicks, I don't care. Three-second video views, I don't care. Video percentage watched. I don't, I don't care to see that on the dashboard, video average, playtime, whatever. We don't really need that. So 
we'll leave these ones, delivery, ad set name, um, bid strategy, we'll leave that, budget, quality ranking, amount spent, ends, and schedule. Okay, so now here's what we're going to do. We're going to come over here to the left to our custom conversions. And these are the ones that we set up. We set up the storytelling course students purchased, the sales page add to cart, the storytelling leads, and um, and and the schedule. Actually, we didn't do the schedule appointments. That was that was what you had before. But it's for this specific campaign, it was these three. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna check the total, the total, the total, and then I want to check the cost, the cost, the cost. So now I have all those added to the right. Mm -hmm. I check the box and they all get added over here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just drag them to the top. I'm gonna drag them, I'm gonna drag them to the top, take that one, let's take, uh, let's take that one, purchased storytelling course, actually, I don't know why it's twice, but we'll just delete one of them. Storytelling. Okay, so that's the purchased. Okay, so storytelling course students purchased, uh, storytelling page, course students per. I don't know why it's twice, but let's see. It's all right. We'll just put it at the top. Okay, so so we got cost per storytelling lead. We got cost per storytelling students. How much is it costing us to get someone to buy? How much is it going to cost us to get someone to opt in to be a lead? And then. How much is it costing us to get people to the sales page? Everything is a data point. Everything is a data point. How much did it cost me to get the lead? How much did it cost me to get people to see my sales page? How much did it cost me to get people to purchase? These are our data points. So now over here at the bottom left, save as preset, story telling campaign. So now... Now, storytelling campaign, I click apply. And now whenever I'm in my dashboard and I wanna look at this specific campaign, I'll hit this drop down and I'll go to storytelling campaign. Now look at the way everything looks. Now I can see right here, the cost per storytelling lead, the cost per sales page lead, the cost per student. So now I'm able to really look at this. These are the only data points I need to know. How many leads came in? How much was spent? How much did it cost me to get someone to buy 497? I can start looking at these data points right here as you start to run more ads. That's powerful right there. Yes. So that right there was Facebook custom conversions. Again, don't worry about remembering any of this. I have it recorded. I'll send you the recording. Watch it 50 million times if needed. Um, but that's custom that conversions and customizing your columns. Did you, did, you, did you send me the recording for you? I today? will, I will, I will. So any questions on this regard? No, I don't have any question here. Okay, um, so perfect. <laughs>